Hello there, this is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. The main reason many men deny the body game. Now, you know, I had that uh, car video on Monday where I said the main reason why women be checking out men in prison. And even then, I had some people coming up saying all this other shit. Say, no, it's the body. Women ain't that damn deep. But you still get guys denying it. There was one cat. I had to block him, though, because he was he was uh, insulting other people who were commenting. But he tried to say, oh, oh the body muscles got zero to do with it. Bama, please. Look, look. Let's, first of all, let's, let's get one thing out of the way. Anybody who denies body game. And I always ask people this. How is it that male exotic dancers are making cash rolls? You know, how is it uh, somebody like Cousin Tito can train male exotic dance? How is it that you got gigolos who can get four hundred dollars an hour? Let me say that again. Four hundred dollars an hour. It ain't just off their sparkling personality or their great smiles. You know, how is it that you got women traveling all they traveling from their countries, from Europe and America to the Caribbean? You know, places like Ghana, Kenya, Bali. You know, why are they doing that? Why you got some women who are married, married to a guy who's actually making that, you know, I guess the cutoff now is six figures and stuff married to some guy, but secretly fucking some young, muscular young boy. I mean, come on, it's right there. Why you got thirst buckets? On IG. All a dude had to do. In fact you got some dudes on. Uh, OnlyFans. All they doing is just showing their muscles. And shit and women going crazy. I mean seriously just use some common sense. If women pay for it it's important to them. Yeah. And in some cases like especially on OnlyFans. They paying just to look. But let's be real now. A lot of guys they got a problem with it. Because they just don't have a physique that stands out. That's it. So instead of just dealing with the reality or just joining a fucking gym, putting some muscle on, getting their bodies tight, they look for all this other stuff. Like a big reason, a big thing is a lot of guys don't think it matters. They don't think a man's physical appearance matters. Indeed, like that whole looks matter thing. I know I never said it didn't matter. I just said that's one of the things they take into consideration. Yes, women look at the whole picture. Indeed, I got a podcast that's going to be talking about that. Yes, they look at the entire picture. They look at everything. But one of it is the physical appearance. That's, I mean, that's just a woman's nature. Because, uh, like, I'm going to tell you some bullshit out here. Because, you know, we've had all that talk about six-figure men lately. High-value men. And the women to say stuff like, oh, well, he has to have this much money, this personality. What they don't say, he need to be in a package that they like physically. That's what they don't say. Because I guarantee, in fact, it's to the point, if you can say you get a thousand women, gather them someplace, put them in a space, and then say, okay, we're going to bring in some men. And every single one of these men are verified to make six figures, maybe even seven figures. Every single one's been verified, has been checked out and everything, Right? Okay, so we, we they do that. But if these guys come in and let's just say just on a physical basis, they just too slim, they don't have a body that stands out or overweight or whatever the case, they just physically don't stand out. They just got average bodies. Let's see how the women respond. Seriously, like really respond. In fact, attach some electrodes to them to see what their body reactions are. <laughs> Seriously. It always counts. Women always do that. I mean, you know, but see, a lot of guys, they want to believe that as long as they make enough money, that's all they need. One, I mean, look, let me just go get into that part. A lot of dudes, even though they try to say they red pill, really still blue pill. That's total blue pill right there. They believe it when women, you know, women are get part of it. Yeah, they, yeah, and let's be real. Women will settle for money and shit. They will settle for money, but they still got their eyes open for that uh, 
that dude with a physique that turned him on because look here's the thing when you talk about if you, if the woman want to have sex she got to physically have sex with you people want to say all this other bullshit and sex begins and it's the brain is more important and all of that shit oh that's some bullshit you physic she got physically get turned on by your ass you got physically want to be on top of you under you to the side of you upside down on you shoot put up against the wall physically and that shit turns that that means shit and sometimes you know you get some women if they like a man's body he be licking them all over and shit you know and we won't even get into the print you know that shit's physical and that's shit the better shape your body's in the better shape that turns them on I mean it turns them on naturally and people know that that's why you got some men they, they develop their bodies and then they get into that diesel work they get into that diesel work and shoot be driving uh, be driving the women crazy and stuff but see you got a lot of guys they you know they ain't standing out because of their body so they think it's something else or they'll say it's either that or they'll feel like because of their uh, personality traits a woman should like them and heck they might like them if they get to know them Seriously, they might like them. But the women got to be attracted to them or find some attraction to them for it to even get to that point. And that's hard. You would have to be in the same social circle with that woman and get a chance to interact with her where she can't just walk away. And even then, even then, she got to find something physical about you she like to get to have sex with. Her. And like I said, only uh, in... You know, it, it don't have to be a particular body type. It just has to be one that she likes in particular. In fact, it leaves a little clue for guys. If they want to get an idea about what a woman likes physically, just casually ask her what sport she likes. That tells you a lot right there. And then look at who plays that sport. Like, if she say football, like a woman say football to me, I'm like, oh, shit, okay, hey. You know, <laughs> But if they say basketball or something, I'm like, mm, okay, she might be a little bit difficult for me. Right? Because I'm built like a football player. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's why I tell guys to find their tribe. But see, a lot of guys, they don't want to deal, they don't want to deal with it. Or something else. And somebody brought this, put this point this out in the comments. You know, you got a, uh, and he applied it to specifically black men. Because you know how you got that thing about, you know, that, uh, and this this gets deeper. This gets into history, like that thing of the black buck and stuff. That was a more physical thing. So you get some guys, they want to feel like the women should like them more intellectually and stuff. That's still a fantasy. Yeah, they can like you, but we're talking about being turned on sexually. If she want to be in a relationship with you, if she look like fuck, you know, fuck all the other relationship. If she want to have sex with your ass, because there's plenty of women they'll marry somebody maybe for social reasons, and then, you know. One thing is, once they had, once they get pregnant, had that baby, stop having sex with the guy. You know, that's because she married him maybe just to get that seed, but she don't want to do anything else with him. She ain't turned on by him. You know, and like I said, it's very specific to what a particular woman like. That's why I say, like every man should get the best version of his body. But you still, you still get some men pushed back against it. Even when I provide evidence, I, you know what? There have been times I even provided studies. I did some videos. I provided studies. Some guys still want to fight it. And I, look, I'll be straight up. That's because the guys don't got it. Don't they? Don't got it. All right now, there might be a guy here and there who got a muscular body or something has some issues getting a woman. But I can, I can guarantee in that case. They just don't know. They don't know their own power. I can guarantee it. Yeah, I'm using the word guarantee. Let me give me a coaching session. Give me about three or four coaching sessions with them. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Because women have always, women have always gone over bodies. But, you know, like I said, the guys... You know, they think, you know, they got that blue pill thinking, oh, well, all they do need to do is make money and stuff. Nah, that's trick thinking. Nah. 
or the woman's going to just like them just on their personality. Now, personality matters, but let me let me give you a basic basic scheme. The base is always the physicality. It's always the physicality. I don't care what anybody say. All right, the base is always that, and then is enhanced by money, personality, and all that shit. But on a basic level, when they take that first look at a man, they want they want to, it's whether or not he could get it. It's just that it really is not any difficult than that. Now there are times a man could maybe get it on other cases because it is one of the issues. A real issue is you only have a small percentage of men who have a physique that stands out like that. Most people are average, so a man can still. I mean, technically, he can still get it, but let's put it like this. He's working a lot harder, and he's going to have to put out a lot more. He's going to have to spend money. He's going to have to take his time. He got to wait those 90 days, you know, develop some sexual skills for when he can get in there. It's harder, but, you know, you got a nice physique. It makes it easy. Because, shoot, the second a woman see that, that physique, she's like, she, she wet right then. All you have to do is pay attention and everything. That's it. Seriously, that's it. You just had to pay attention and Look for signs that she got that interest if you once you got that physique. But one of the things too, there you go. One of the things too is damn she waddling that shit. That's another thing too. Just like men, you know how we be checking out a woman's body. Women the exact same way. They really works. They just real slick about that shit. They just real slick about that shit. And they also know there's not a lot of bodies that turn them on. They know they can go, they know they can go weeks, months, some even years without seeing a body that truly turn them on. So they'll settle for what they get. And you know what? If a dude want to deal with that, fine. But, you know, when you got that physique, you got that nice physique and shit, and they turned on by you sexually, that actually gives a man total power. That gives a man power because then that's when the woman going to, like, she going to do whatever he wants her to do to get with her. Serious, because even some guys who might have a cool personality, or or seemingly cool, or funny, or uh, you know, they maybe they got a lot of money or some. Even they can attest. Even they can attest. The woman still be giving them some a little bit of trouble, you know. But if you turn them on physically, is it? It's yours to lose. Then it makes it real easy. That's why you get some guys really develop their bodies if once if once they run into a woman who ain't as turned on by them they don't know what the fuck to do because they ain't never get used to but yeah a lot of guys don't want to deal with that shit and they can fight it but see I'm going to tell you what fight it to your heart's extent seriously just keep fighting but when don't get mad if what you're doing ain't working for you and don't get mad that, you know, some muscular dude, you know, you've been working on this woman for months. Johnny, you might even gone out with her. She might have gave you a good hook. But then some muscular dude come in the picture. You find out she sucked his dick within half an hour of meat. Don't get mad. That's just it. Seriously. Because I'm telling you what work. And, I, you know, ain't no speculation. I read some, somebody somebody try to say, oh, that's some speculation. As a speculation, I go under a lie detector test or uh, or in the court of law and shit, and I'll just exp- I just share my own experiences. I ain't get women based on my money, and I'm actually quiet in public. I've had a lot of women approach me, say, "Oh, you're just so quiet." <laughs> yeah, they saying that while they like finding some excuse to like rub my arms or some shit. But you know. I wanted to share that. Mm, I'm a girl working today. Um, yeah, but seriously, look, here's my thing. Here's my thing. And this is what I would just say to anybody who doubts the shit. Hit the gym and try it. Hit the gym. Hit the gym and then come back and tell me it didn't work. And yeah, I'm going to tell you something else. Every once in a blue moon, you get somebody say, well, I hit the gym and, you know, I ain't know the difference. And I take one look at them. I used to be a personal trainer. I'll take one look at them until they hit the gym, they ain't doing any real work. Because that's another thing about hitting the gym. You actually got to do stuff to make a physical change. 
There's a lot of people who go to the gym all the time, but they just maintain it. You actually got to do resistance training. You got to work hard. You got to sweat. You got to feel a little bit of pain. Because that's how your muscles grow. That's how you got to actually shape your physique. You got to shape your physique. It's just that simple. And even then, I've noticed, I really have noticed, you get some guys that say, well, man, it's just a few I have, but they never show a picture or anything. So, in my opinion, they're lying. I'll just say it like that. And they're just saying it. They don't want to do the work. But seriously, if you do the work, and I've said this before, if you do the work just for, i say, just for a, a year, you'll see a difference. Now, are you going to run out and get that dime real quick? Not really, but. It'll, it'll, it'll get her attention more. And then you just gotta, you just gotta engage at that point. That's the part. And there's nothing wrong with, uh, people who teach you how to engage, but you gotta have a bait. You gotta have a reason why they gonna stop because women, they make that choice in a few seconds. You know, if you got that physique and it, what they like physically, trust me, they'll listen to whatever you got to say. It's up to you to blow it at that point. So, anyway, and I'm going to tell you what people say, why well, I keep pushing it and pushing it, because some people don't get it, but it's easy, it's seriously. I've never seen, I'm, I personally, like 20 years, I've yet to have somebody come back to me and say, Rom, I did this, it didn't work for me. In 20 years. I'm serious, 20 years. Which actually surprised me. I ain't going to lie, that surprised me, but nobody has said, hey, Rom, I did all the stuff you said in your book. And I haven't seen a change. I always get, you know what, I'm seeing a difference. And then they come and, you know, I start dealing with them more privately or have them in one of my private groups. And then I take them to another level. I give them, I give them the second part. But see, a lot of people want, they want the second part or some trick. And I'm saying, dude, it ain't going to work. You got to get your body right. And I'm going to tell you what, I'll leave it at this. I'll just use one word for the metaphysicians. Metaphysicians, and they'll know what I'm talking about. I ain't going to explain it in the uh, comments. Root chakra. That's all I'm going to say. So, it's, it's actually, the thing with the body is actually deeper than people realize. And the magnetism of a body is deeper than people realize. So, anyway. And I'm going to just say, I'm even doing this part, uh, this uh, car video. I, there's some people out there who sincerely want to be helped. And that's who I'm talking to, man. That's who I'm talking to. So, everybody else, man, keep talking to smack. All right. I'll walk by you. If we out in public or you see me somewhere, I'll walk by you or something with a fine woman. And I'm just going to look at you, hope. And just look at you like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I've actually had that happen, too. Yeah, like, let me share a story real <laughs> quick. I was at, uh, I remember I did this workshop one time, seminar, and this guy didn't agree with nothing I said. He didn't agree with nothing I said and uh, thing. He even said it. He even said it. I, I give it to him. I respect him. All right? But then I did a sec. I was at a second when he was there, and there was a young lady sitting and giving me that energy. She was sitting right next to me. And I knew her anyway. And I never forget the look on his face. <laughs> I never forget the look. That dude looks sad. And I was like, dude, you should have just listened to what I was saying. So, anyway. That's all I got for today, y'all. I'll talk to y'all. Peace and blessings.